What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just ordered this webcam. It's a 1080p. So, you know, I have a cheap webcam that's like, I don't know, 480 by 620 or something. So I ordered this because it was kind of one of the highest resolution cameras I could find for an inexpensive price. Uh, you know, some of the other ones by Logitech and whatnot aren't bad, but um, they get kind of pricey. I mean, 70, 80 bucks, and it's just a webcam. I use it so infrequently. But one of the things that I wanted to do is I want to do a YouTube live video coming up here pretty soon to share some info with you. And as well as, uh, you know, video chatting for work or whatever it might be, you know, there's lots of reasons to have webcams, and they're usually not built into kind of external computer monitors. So I just wanted to show this one to you and then we'll kind of test it out and see what kind of video we get with it. Obviously we have a pretty long cable here with a weight USB, so it should plug into pretty much any computer. And then what we have here is the webcam itself. Now, what's kind of interesting is the base here, which tend to work pretty well. You know, they, they kind of rest on the top of a monitor and then this piece will kind of brace it. This is a metal piece. So it's a QC HD 92 1080p. Uh, this whole bracket right here is metal. I don't know if this is, this kind of feels like it might be plastic, but this is metal and this is metal, which is kind of interesting. It looks actually pretty nice. It's kind of matches my monitor pretty well. And it looks like you have a little bit of like a, a 3M mounting foam, you know, single, single sided basically. These aren't like silicone, they're, they're like foam feet. So you don't have to worry about it scratching your computer and you've got another foam piece right there as well and adjustable and it seems to have pretty good resistance so it should stay there the, the cable kind of connects on the back side there then the, the webcam which is a little bit interesting is a pretty wide silver plastic piece and looks like there's plastic on the front here because you've got your main camera right here and then it looks like there are two microphones over here and you can kind of see behind this plastic that there are some other holes but I kind of don't know that they are for anything I think maybe just for holding the thing together so camera and microphones and then we have some buttons up here oh it looks like a camera button so maybe take some stills and then it looks like it's a speaker or a light button or something like that so I'm not entirely sure what that is but hopefully we'll we'll find out um, I assume this is going to be just pretty much plug and play. You throw it in to your, uh, com you know, on your computer and then whatever you're using, you know, Skype, your Google Hangouts thing, it'll usually find it. That's been the case for me. But let's go ahead and plug it in and see what kind of video and audio quality we get out of it. Now, I'm not going to use any external microphones, um, so I'm just going to plug this in and let it record video and audio with this device itself. Okay, I think I'm recording. So I've got the camera set up here. Uh, you know, the lighting in this room isn't the best in the whole world. Yeah, the, uh, the housing around the lens, I noticed it, you can twist and adjust it. So you have to dial in the focus depending on how far away you are from the camera. Uh, it's actually pretty close to what it should have been based on me sitting here, but that's going to have to be adjusted uh, when you get it yourself. Now, I, I'm noticing that at least the picture quality to me looks like it's a little bit better resolution than <laughs> my other uh, webcam, which was pretty poor, but you know, worked. This little guy right here. But it, it was only, you know, 480 pixels or 420 pixels, something like that. So this is what I'm getting with this. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking pretty loud. I'm kind of a loudspeaker. I'm a little bit of a shouter. Uh, so you kind of keep that in mind. But in terms of video and audio quality, this is what you can expect from it. So I'm hoping that this little guy is actually going to be a slightly better option as I shoot some computer-based videos. Peter Von Panda. Out!